Starfield, Mass Effect 5, New Witcher Saga, it seems like fans of an RPG genre have no reason to complain. Unfortunately, most of these games are still years away from their release. But if you already want to experience an adventure whose ending you can influence, then look no further, because we've got something just for you. Do you want to change the fates of entire galaxies, the balance between good and evil, uncover the secret of the soul? Then stay tuned for the 10 best games with multiple endings. And don't worry, there won't be any spoilers in this video. Starting with the number 10, The Witcher 3. Many consider this masterpiece to be the game of all time. Set after the events of books written by Andrew Sapkowski, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt features a whopping 36 endings. In The Wild Hunt, you'll travel to a place inspired by Slavic culture northern kingdoms, the breathtaking isles of Skellige resembling a mix between the real-world Vikings and Norse mythology, and even occasionally visit other dimensions. Be sure to also check out two-story DLCs, Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine. Similarly to the base game, they also offer different endings, and the second one even adds a huge new map, a small autonomous duchy called Toussaint. On the surface, it may look like something straight from Alice in Wonderland, but don't let that fool you. Toussaint hides many dark secrets, like vampires and bureaucracy. Hearts of Stone isn't as big as Blood and Wine, but also delivers a very engaging story, loosely based on the old Polish legend about a sorceress called Serth Fardowski, who fled from the devil to the moon. Speaking of running away to celestial objects, the board needs you in number 9, The Outer Worlds. If you're a fan of a Fallout series, especially New Vegas, you'll love The Outer Worlds. The game is set in an alternate future where society is dominated by mega corporations. The action takes place in a six planet star system called Halcyon, which has fallen on hard times due to the incompetence of the board, a collective of mega corporations that rules over the entire system and its human inhabitants. You take control over the recently revived passenger of the lost ship called Hope, which mysteriously disappeared decades ago. Your task is to find a way to wake the remaining Hope colonists from cryostasis and free Halcyon from the regime of greedy mega corporations. The Outer Worlds can end in many ways, depending on your choices. You can even go full psycho and kill almost every NPC, or fly straight into the sun. At the end of the day, it's your call. Time for something more recent at number 8, Elden Ring. Elden Ring was released on February 25, 2022, and it's the most recent title on this list. Does it offer an interesting story? If the name George R.R. Martin tells you something, then yes. The author of the Game of Thrones novels helped in the creation of the Elden Ring's world and lore. Elden Ring's uniqueness comes from its lack of conventional RPG tropes, like a quest log, for example. By exploring the map, players can encounter truths and stories that will change their perception of the game, and through completing side quests, they'll unlock more endings. Speaking of more endings, time for number 7, Nier Automata. Nier Automata has 26 endings in total, which require at least 3 playthroughs to complete. Don't worry, in each playthrough, you follow a different character, so they aren't repetitive. Some endings are just silly jokes that are not canonical, while others require players to fulfill certain requirements, like failing missions or maxing out the stats of every weapon. If you liked Automata, be sure to check out Near Replicant version 1.22474487139, uh, nailed it, which is the remake of a prequel of Near Automata. The boys are back in town in number 6, The Pathologic 2, probably the most underrated game in the history of gaming. Its action is set at the beginning of the 20th century in a mysterious steppe settlement called The Town, which is devoured by a deadly plague. The player takes control over a local healer, who has only 12 days to find the cure. What's really interesting about this game is that time really keeps running out. It means that you can just sit down and do nothing for an in-game 12 days, and you'll reach the ending either way. But of course, it won't be an ending in which the town survives the plague. Pathologic 2 features many endings, depending on the player's decision and time management skills. Each NPC can die, and will die if the player neglects his duties. Unique atmosphere, crazy non-Euclidean level design, engaging story, crafting, and survival elements, Pathologic 2 is an absolute must-have for every hardcore player. I've never asked for this at number 5, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Released in 2011, Human Revolution features 12 different variations of an ending, and everything indicates that all of them are canonical. Set in the year 2027, players control Adam Jensen, a security officer working for a Serif Industries company, which develops cybernetic implants known as augmentations. After a terrorist attack on the headquarters of Serif, Jensen is forced to replace most of his body parts with augmentations, which will help him with the investigation of the mysterious organization of the Illuminati. The direct sequel, Deus Ex Mankind Dive, was released in 2016, so be sure to check this one too. And if you aren't afraid of old school, you can also try the first game in the series from the year 2000, simply titled Deus Ex. And by the way, this isn't the only cyberpunk game on this list. Stay tuned to learn more, but for now, are you ready to... 
save the galaxy once again in number 4, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This remaster from last year comes with all three games from the original trilogy, with visual, technical, and gameplay improvements. The first game was originally released in 2007. The franchise depicts a distant future where humanity, together with allied alien civilizations, has colonized the Milky Way. The playable character, Commander Shepard, and his or her crew try to save the galaxy from a race of ancient machines known as the Reapers. It's worth mentioning that Legendary Edition doesn't include 2017's Mass Effect Andromeda, which was met with mixed reviews from critics and fans of the series. BioWare currently works on the next entry in the franchise, which presumably will be a direct sequel to the original Mass Effect trilogy. Get ready for a trip to Zone in number 3, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, the first game from the popular Ukrainian series, which has its own devoted cult of fans. It was released in 2007 and is loosely based on the novella Roadside Picnic and its film adaptation from 1979 titled Stalker. The series is set in an alternative timeline where the second disaster of mysterious origin occurred at the Chernobyl exclusion zone, causing strange anomalies in the area around it. These anomalies often create within their radius so-called artifacts, very valuable items that give the holder various abilities. Shadow of Chernobyl got two sequels, Stalker Clear Sky and Stalker Call of Pripyat. Ukrainian GSC Game World currently works on another one titled Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl, which should be released by the end of next year. If you want to get into the Stalker universe but don't want to spend any money, be sure to check free, standalone modification, Stalker Anomaly. Something for fans of Steampunk at number 2, Dishonored 2. In this 2016 action-adventure game from Arcane Studios, we can play as either Empress Emily Caldwin or her royal protector and the main protagonist of the first game, Corvo Atano. This time story takes place not in the Grey Dunwall Metropole, but in the coastal city of Karnica, which is plagued by an epidemic of bloodthirsty insects called blood flies. The game features many endings, based on whether the player caused high chaos by killing everyone or achieved low chaos by choosing a more pacifistic approach. And finally, number one belongs to Cyberpunk 2077, probably one of the most hyped products in the history of entertainment. Cyberpunk 2077 takes place in California Night City, a metropole of the future that's ruled by ruthless megacorporations. The plot touches on topics such as immortality through copying consciousness, the existence of the soul, and the critique of late-stage capitalism. Cyberpunk 2077 has a bunch of unforgettable quests to do, places to visit, things to hack, cars to buy, music to dance to, and people to meet. And yes, there's also Keanu Reeves as a rocker boy named Johnny Silverhand, who's stuck in the protagonist's head, literally. CD Projekt Red is currently working on a story expansion called Phantom Liberty, which should be released sometime in the next year. Moreover, the company recently confirmed that the game will also receive a sequel. But given the eight-year gap between the announcement of Cyberpunk 2077 and its premiere, we wouldn't count on the quick release of the continuation. That's our list of the 10 best games with multiple endings. Will you give these games a chance? Let us know which game with multiple endings is your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe. But remember, no spoilers. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Stay safe and see you next time.